Democrat John Cox is facing off against Republican Joy Hoffmeister. Hoffmeister soundly defeated the incumbent Janet Barisi in the Republican primary. Tennis reporter Liz Bryant live tonight with more on that race for us. Liz? Russ and Karen, we're here in downtown Tulsa at the summit where the Tulsa Republican Club is setting up for tonight's watch party. Joining me right now live is state superintendent candidate Joy Hoffmeister. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now, polls close in just an hour. Yes. What do you tell people watching right now? Well, we are excited to know that there are still long lines at the polls. So uh, we certainly, to the last minute, want to be a part of a get out the vote push. It's winding down after a very long campaign, and it's, it's an exciting night. Your family's here behind you. They've flown in from all over, and also your kids from college. Yes. We've known you as Joy Hoffmeister, the candidate, for the last year. Who is Joy Hoffmeister at home? Oh, well, someone who enjoys um, just chilling with my family, <laughs> and um, really it's been a, a time of meeting a lot of new people and um, staying up on uh, Ed Chat, Twitter, um, working with new friends, new colleagues, and I, I'm just having a good time getting to know more and more people in Oklahoma, and I'm eager to represent them. It's going to be a very tight race tonight. You actually told me that earlier. Yes. We're planning for a very long night. Um, we know it's a competitive race, and we understand there's going to be kind of a roller coaster of uh, emotions as results come in from different parts of the state. Uh, we are just kind of going to sit back, enjoy it, and, um, and just have a great time catching up with friends and all kinds of volunteers who have been a part of this from the beginning. Okay, thank you so much. Now, Joy Hoffmeister focuses on higher teacher pay. She also wants to reduce some of the, super, uh, some of the students' testing in the classrooms and also work with lawmakers on getting more education funding. Now we are joined with Joe, who is going to talk about uh, Dr. John Cox, Joy Hoffmeister's competition. Well, Liz, we just heard you chatting live there with Joy Hoffmeister. Dr. John Cox is expected to be here at Malon's Barbecue in Muskogee in about an hour. He held his primary election watch party here at Malon's, ended up being victorious, and he's confident there will be a similar outcome here tonight. He thinks he's the right candidate to be the next state superintendent because of his background. He brings 28 years of experience as an educator and 20 years as superintendent in pegs to this race. That earned Cox the support of many superintendents and teachers around Oklahoma during his campaign. Campaign. His opponent, jo Joy Hoffmeister, though, critical of Cox's six figure salary as PEG superintendent, which she says is above the state average, and also questioning his ability to change the status quo after 20 years in PEG as a superintendent. Regardless of Cox's, Cox's background and Hoffmeister's criticism, though, polls close in less than an hour, and voters will decide who the next state superintendent will be. We'll be here live all night giving updates on KJRH.com and also right here on 2 News. Live in Muskogee tonight, Joe Henke, 2 News works for you.